Astro just released something that I am so f***ing amazed and excited about to tell you more about because I have been waiting for this for so long and um, yeah, now it's finally stable. I am Nev, I'm a dev and today we're gonna talk about the Astro actions which Astro just released and I am, like I said, I am super hyped about that. We have our little VS Code project here set up but I'm actually gonna create a new project right here. Um, so we're gonna run bun create astro at latest and then we're gonna do actions demo and we're gonna select a empty thing we're gonna plan to write typescript yes sir uh, we're gonna select script dependencies and we are not gonna uh, do a git repository you will find the source code in the description of course now let's run code and then um, actions demo and we are here so there is some stuff i want to add as well so first we're gonna do bunx or uh, npx you can do if you are using npm astro add tailwind uh, which will install some basic tailwind stuff uh, yes and we're gonna create a tailwind file um we're gonna add uh astro db astro add db nice so now we're I think already set up so we can hit bun dev and we should be up and running so db we um don't really need a seed but now we can go ahead and define a table so we have const just to register us is define table um and in here we're gonna go ahead and set this to column is column no we have id is column dot we need to actually auto import that column dot number and this would be we need to go ahead and set a few options right here so we have uh, primary key is true and then we second have a email which is going to be column.text and which is going to be mm, optional is false and now if we go ahead and watch our columns yeah we just have these options we can go with so yeah and now we of course need to also register that down here and what we want to do now is just go ahead and style this a bit so we're going to add a class of uh, with screen height screen and flex and maybe flex call as well and in here we're just gonna add a uh, little div and then let's just go ahead and write a little h1 where we're gonna write sign up for the newsletter and this thing is gonna receive a class of text 3xl font bold and tracking tighter uh, which will make it look like that nice and this one needs a auto so that it's nicely centered and we're gonna add a input down here actually no we're gonna add a form right here um action we're gonna leave blank but we're gonna do method is post for now and we're gonna just add an input right here uh, which is be which is gonna be type email and uh, required and yeah that's about it we need to style this of course and we're gonna add a border uh, rounded um, 3xl uh, let's see how that looks uh, looks pretty good no, I think 2xl is enough I'm gonna add p2 to give it a little bit of padding and we're gonna give this a little bit of margin bottom now uh, for the end we're gonna add a button right here which is gonna be uh, class BG Sky 500 um, rounded 2XL and P2. Nice. So we have our little uh, sign up form right here. And now we need to, of course, um, add some functionalities. And now in our source folder, we're gonna create action slash index.ts. And what we're gonna do here is we need a export const server and this is going to be a register 
which is the name of the action and we're gonna give this define action and in here we need to specify some stuff so input so in input we need to go ahead and give this a zod object which we can just import from astro content or astro schema in our case we're just gonna take astro schema and we're gonna do c that object and in this c that object we're just gonna have an email which is gonna be a z dot string um and one important thing we're gonna go ahead and write accept and then we're gonna do form because we are running this action from a form so we actually want form data to be accepted and then in our handler we just go ahead and do async and in our handler we're just gonna take this input prop uh, which is gonna yeah kind of serve as this one here so this basically corresponds to that one up here and what we can put in here is just we're gonna return for now um hello um input dot email and that should be working and over here and over here in our index.astro we just can call actions and that should be generated automatically dot register um, I have no idea why it's not registered yet maybe because the types haven't been generated one important thing go into your astro config and set output to be um, server because I think it will only work if you do that so let's import actions right here and let's see if the server crashed it did not crash perfect so now uh what we can do actually is go ahead into our action and i want to actually debug that so if we can confirm if this actually got hit so we're gonna do input and now if i'm gonna set in contact at nevilbrem.com it's gonna submit that and in our console Okay, maybe we actually need to go ahead and do server on this. And now if we go ahead and do contact and nevilbrem.com, uh, we should get a console log. So the post succeeded, but we did not get a console log. We can actually go ahead and do db dot select dot from and then we're gonna do registrars just gonna go ahead and do um wait and then const or yeah const uh registrars is await db.select from registers and if we refresh the page now uh we will get nothing of course because we need to actually console.log this uh registers mm, which is currently an empty array but what we can do in our actions thing here, we can go ahead and do some cool stuff in here. So in here, we can actually go ahead and do await db.insert. We need to, of course, import db.insert and then registers, registers dot values and then in our values id we won't set because it's auto incrementing so we're just gonna need email and we're gonna set this to input dot email and now this should be console dot logging out something different um we're actually gonna for the sake of making this a little bit simpler we're just gonna do pre um these registers json dot stringify and then do that one so right now we have basically nothing but if we go ahead and do contact at nevilbrem.com we still don't got nothing because we need to set a name here so name email yeah names and forms is very important so let's try this again contact at nevilbrem dot com and now we have our little email list uh we can also add i don't know um steve at jobs dot apple um we can add harry at potter 
Com. You know, we can basically go ahead and do everything. This toolbar is a bit scuffed. And yeah, it persists. Uh, I think I made another video about AstroDB. And yeah, I just really love that you can integrate this so well. And this setup didn't take very long. So I think it's very OP, right? So why do I think Astro is now about complete with these Astro actions? Well, because f before you had to do some crazy, crazy with Astro to get actions working as they are right now. You had to like receive some form post that action that something I don't even know anymore because I didn't want to even touch it. But now it's super performant, right? Now I could probably even build Zenith with Astro because we have these actions now, which is super cool. I mean, dude, that's just that's just crazy. I love that they have introduced actions and now that they are stable, they are super easy to implement and integrate with AstroDB as I showed in this video. And yeah, if you like Astro actions as well as I do, and you also like this video and could learn something from it, I would highly appreciate it if you would leave a like and subscribe to this channel and we will see us on the next video. Bye.